Welcome to our study of waveguides. Waveguides? What are waveguides? What are waveguides? <laughs> that is a waveguide, but it's obviously not an electrical waveguide. It's a, I won't do it again, it's an acoustic waveguide. Here's Felt. what the electrical ones look like. Yeah. So they're kind of fancy metal pipes with rectangular yeah. cross sections. And they look kind of complicated and messy. Here's, there's a real cool one right here. It's a twist, got a twist in it, so rotates the polarization. Oh, mm. that's really cool. Let's look at another one. Oh, this one I know. What is it? It's an optical waveguide. We, we, we use that for our internet. Yeah, the, without this, no optical guidance of internet at high speeds. Mm -hmm. So let's go. What do we know? from our electrical background to help us with our study of waveguides. Oh, that, that's a huge list of things. It seems like almost everything we've learned in the course are listed here, like 1D waves, that's what we did in the beginning of the term. Uh, wave properties, tra uh, traveling waves and VSWR, so all those second order differential equations and the related equations, they're all here, like the first part of the course. And then TEM wave, uh, input impedance, and then Maxwell, we did that a lot for the second part of the course. So well, what's going on? Why, why, why are we seeing all these again? I thought this well, is chapter wave three. Well, waveguides in chapter three of the course is just a perfect way to kind of stitch everything together. Uh, and we also have all these knowledge items in math. We know okay. all the items there. And hopefully we are very comfortable with our grad and divergence and curl and the back cab rule is going to play very large remember the back cab rules related to decouple decouple the equations and get the rotations all in one plane if you can mm -hmm. so let's see we're going to build a waveguide okay yeah well i guess here we have a rectangular slab waveguide and uh, with some height B and some uh, width A. Yeah, and the waves, they go right through the waveguide and they're going in the Z direction. So okay. one dimensional waves in the Z direction, but there's obviously some kind of standing waves between the plates of the okay. waveguide. So mm. it's a combination of standing waves that occur laterally mm -hmm. and then the waves go down the guide, just like this. There's a beautiful example of the drawing of what I just said. Yeah, uh, well, I guess it's not showing up too well on the screen, so I'll just doodle it out a little better. So here we have the waveguide at a side view. I'll just label it well as a waveguide. And like you said, there's some sort of standing wave pattern when you look at the cross-section of there the There it guide. is, in the red yeah. and yellow and black. Yeah. And there's some traveling component, uh, f of z minus vt. So it's traveling in the forward direction at some velocity v. And it works just like this. The sound goes down the waveguide. It's a 1D wave. That's where we started this course. 1D wave complications are in the standing wave pattern and the cross section of the guide. Well, I look forward to really rolling up our shirt sleeves and getting it built. Look forward to it. Look forward to some sort of IKEA guide of... Oh yeah, the IKEA guide of, of making a wave guide. Exactly. Great.